All right, guys, so Saturday, we're gonna be actually testing the car. And it's Thursday night at 11 p.m. And I've been up since five. I'm gonna wake up at five, but we're still working on it because I've got a bunch of shit to do before we get the car there. And I gotta wake up at five on Saturday. <laughs> So, I'm having power steering issues, and my buddy Max is coming over, and he's going to bring a rack, and he's got a Cortex module in his car. So, hopefully, those are like the only two parts of the whole system. So, between those two pieces, hopefully, we can get this thing fixed, and we'll be able to go. But, um, as you can see, I've made a ton of progress. I haven't really been recording much because I've just been grinding away at this thing. But... We're gonna be doing some weighing on this and we're probably a hundred-ish pounds plus or minus uh, out of what it's gonna be because there's no tail lights or trunk or side skirts or dash. But um, besides that, like fluids are full and like all the systems are in the car. So, and we've got a bunch of extra wiring for pigtails and stuff that, um, we're not like taking into consideration. So we've got all the uh, scales on, we've got this thing powered up and um, I actually replaced the back springs with uh, 5K springs instead of 6K because uh, first through third was useless in the car. So I'm trying to get some extra grip. So we're gonna let this thing down nice and slow. give her a couple bounces and now we're on the uh the lift damn it nope we're not on the lift just felt like we're on the lift sick all right with that we are 3210. Yeah, I was hoping for a little bit lower than that because the required weight for pro spec is like 2900. And I don't know if that's with driver or not. So she's a fat bitch. Um, we might need to make more power because if you saw before, I don't know if we posted the video yet, but it is uh, 725 horsepower on a really hot day. So like 800 horsepower. Um, there's more to be had, but that's safe and try not to blow it up. But at 3200, I don't know if that's enough to make it do what we need it to do. So, um, yeah. The windshield's cracked, so I'll probably do a plexiglass front windshield. That will drop, like, 15 pounds off of it. And, uh... I guess we'll figure out where we're going to get the other weight. But, from here on out, um, we're going to do a corner balance of this thing. And, uh, we're going to replace the steering rack. And, hopefully, we'll be ready to go on the trailer and get to the track. Okay, it's 1 a.m. and the car is finally ready to go. Uh, Max came over, helped out. We got the power steering rack switched and it fixed the problem. Super stoked about that. And then uh, I had to rewrap all the wiring, corner balance the car, and uh, get her ready to go. So uh, my neighbors are going to love me because now I'm going to be firing this thing up because I'm not even ready to load the car because I have to load the truck then load the car so it's probably going to be like 1 30 before i start this thing um i did take the wheel spacers off the front so it should fit on the trailer i hope if not i don't know what i'm gonna do but i measured it before and it was like only an inch too big so i'm gonna just ride it super close and it should fit all right we made it uh got loaded up at three o'clock in the morning and we got the car all wiped down and ready to go so we're at uh, Cam's Acres in like Stewart, Oklahoma, middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. 
Um, and it's like one of the only tracks that's actually just dedicated to drifting. So it's pretty dope. The track looks sick. We'll uh, put a picture up here so you can see the layout. Um, pretty cool. And uh, we've got all the little like things uh, done to the car that we need to do. We're just uploading a layout. So I have gauges and uh, gonna go try and test this thing out. All right, first time running the car. I'm super sketched out. It seems like it's misfire and I have no fucking idea. So it's not terrible, but it's at 245. Well, upon further investigation, we uh, shot the belt off already, so that sucks. Um, and everything on this is part of the Ford racing kit, so the only thing that isn't is the alternator pulleys. So we get to try to figure out why that's not lined up and get her fixed. And this guy's gonna bring the media to you right here. We, uh, Loosen the belt up quite a bit and uh, we're gonna see how that goes. We got a GoPro running on the front. She's good to go, brother.
Well, unfortunately my helmet cam died, so we didn't get the first runs in it. We are still shredding belt, as you can see. Uh, not very good, but.
All right, we got back late last night. Um, we're finally home. The uh, belt actually didn't end up breaking. We did end up popping a tire though, which I'm really lucky it didn't blow up the quarter. So we blew up this tire and I can say that that's a pretty good weekend because technically we didn't even really break the car. Um, so I've already been looking into some upgrades to uh, try to fix the belt issue. We're probably gonna end up putting a relocation bracket on the alternator to just uh, get rid of that on the uh, whole belt system. Uh, and so uh, that way the supercharger will be on its own thing, the alternator will be on its own thing, and uh, we probably won't have any more issues. Um, but big shout out to all the sponsors. I wouldn't have been able to get out there this fast with the car uh, without them. So Mantic Clutch, uh, Hawk Performance, Field Suspension, Turn 5 Fabrication, Mishimoto, uh, Late Model Restoration, Tire Streets uh, with Accelerate Tires, Make sure you hit those guys up. They um, they help me out on tires, and the Accelerator is a really great tire to uh, run on. And uh, I1 Inc., uh, they've been helping me a ton with getting the suspension dialed in and realistically the whole build on the car, getting that thing dialed together. All those guys have uh, helped me out quite a bit. And um, I just want to say thank you to all of them. Thank you for you guys that are watching the channel and uh, continue to spread the word. Um, it's been a bunch of fun making the car, uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of time invested, but it really goes to show, you know, you put a lot of work in and first time out, we had a lot of great success, um, with just some minor tuning and stuff. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and tell your friends and, uh, we're going to keep making more videos. <laughs>